Hello, one. Hello, 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 so this is the main set, so it's one whole grand red, which is Trisha. Good timing, because of tri because of, there's a structure deck for Ice Barriers coming out soon, on the 10th of Feb, on the 10th Feb, so, so that's good timing. And then next there is, and next um, is, um, Ultimate Rares is eight, which is good, so there's eight of them, yep. And then there's ten Secret Rares, I mean, Super Secret Secret rest, yep, which is very good. And then there is 18 secret rares, yep, and 44 commons. Okay, this pack says it's arm danger. So when you buy this, this is 24 packs, packs, this is 24 packs, and it's nine cards. So the, and the box will cost you about 60 quid. Okay, we're gonna do a box about 60 quid. To get to buy, okay, and three pack seventy, three pack fifty for the new pack for just a single pack, and card wise, it depends on what you're buying, okay, which is cool. Next is the new art type Sprinter. So Sprinter are a new art type. They are all fire, as you can see. They're all machines. Okay, they got one fusion, but they're mainly XC. The idea of this is. This field spell here basically gets the field, get the get the exit of the field while committing your normal. So, so it just goes chum chum. Yep, get exit. So this is this field spell is the deck's central point. So when you play this deck, it's the most central point of the deck. Okay, these four monsters have very same effects. They have this one effect basically says. Oh, let me detach myself to you, Exe, from your hand or grave. Yes, they can do that. They can detach themselves, basically, to the Exe monster, which is pretty cool. One get monster back from the grave, by by seven, yep. One can get one back from the hand, which would be normal. So the two level eights are pretty good too, so... But they can just detach themselves out of Tira, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, the, the spell card, this one here, can search you a rope search, search the field spell or them. If you've got the field spells up, this one sends one to the grave because you need them in the grave. The the spell card, this one here, could just send you one, can add you one for your hand if you send out the end phase. And the traps you don't use very much, so it's not very good the traps. I don't use the traps in my builds, but you can do if you go on the control more. And the, the deck is control based, also the best way to play it, there are two ways to play it. If you want to take this deck competitive, you've got to play Dog Manica. Okay, you've got to play Dog Manica with this, because Dog Manica with this, with the extra monster, is pretty good. There's another version you can do if you can't pull Dog Manica. It's Machina version. And I could these like to be in the grave, which is pretty cool. Yep, it's pretty cool. Next is called the Security Force. Security Force are psych, uh, are a bit over the place type. Okay, they're basically common place. They're like like the lower, the like Med Knights with lower level monsters, okay, because there are some low level monsters, and they have a Link 3, which is quite hard to summon. The deck's good, but it's still it's the weakest one out of both the art types, I would say. The one to be the most competitive is Sprinnick, okay? This one is not so good. They need some new support coming up, they need some new stuff is coming out in the next set with Osa Whisperer. I think they need some new stuff to help them out. The main card is this card here will get you to the to the higher monsters, which is good, which is cool, but the which is cool because it just special summons ones in the deck. But there's a big cost to go back to hand your cards. So that's the max this cost you gotta realize. You never summon the link for you. You have to play this like sort of control and hope for the best, which is not very good. I understand. Next is Dream Mirror. Dream Mirror have some new support coming out. They've been going for quite a while, they were TCG now, they've got some proper support, they've got a new level 3, he, she can special summon herself which is cool, which is nice, 
Uh, they also got a new fuser. The new fusion's actually alright once it actually gets going. Yeah, which is which is alright. They need both field spells out, which is really hard set up. And the trap card's okay. It's not the best support, but it's more support at the end of the day, which is a good thing. Um, Ancient Boy, I'm trying out the new Ancient Boy. The new, this one's very good. They're both very good in their own way. This one creates more pressure on your opponents with the monsters, the opponents, where the opponents are higher. You can just summon this card out, which is good, which is cool, which is good. This one negates traps effects, which is good, which is good for them. And then also, it, uh, you don't want to set it. You never want to set it, but you just want to send it to the grave. So you just play one of it, which is fine. So it's just a nice name. For the continuous spells and you can just send it from your hand which is good um this one's pretty good because it's just a big body which is good which is cool next is wind witch so wind witch this you have some mystic for so you get some nice new support from wind witch so wind witch were in the anime they were in the uh, arc five okay so we got the new wind witch um this one here Okay, this one is a stender. Basically, if you have another Wind Witch, this can special summon itself, which is cool, which is good. And it has a text when you can't be sure about when you use the Synchro material. Yep, we got this one over here, which special summons a Wind Witch from the deck if you've got another name on the field, which is good, which is cool, which means you don't have to start with always your style card, which is good. Uh, we've got Wind Witch Return, Ice Witch Return. Uh, this one's just a trap, so like called grave for them, which is cool. And we've got the new Synchron. The new Synchron's very good, it burns for half the life points. And it's just a big monster at the end of the day, which is good, which is cool. And could be quite hard for you to get over if it's not destroyed by battle or by, or by card effect, which is good. And then this one, it's not very good to level 5. Don't play, okay? Don't play. It's quite simple, okay? Next is the new Metafu support. We got a new Metaphys Fusion. The Fusion is very good. You can you can banish cards. Yep, it's very good. You want to go in second, which is good, which is called the new Metaphys Fusion spell. It's very good. And you can choose cards from your pet from your extra deck, which is cool, which is good, because most of the time your stuff is in your extra, which is good. We've got a new Link Monster, which is a nice standard in the end there, which is good, which is cool. We've got a new level seven, which is good for vanishing. It's good for just another name, and it's just good because you have two level sevens now. You don't have to rely on a roll frame, which is cool. Um, new level eight, new level nine, which is good. It special summons itself, and you can pop two cards, which is cool, which is good. And you can use it for a true key normal calamity if you like with another fusion, so that's cool. There's some things you can do with Metaverse. It's not like competitive still, but it's not enough to bring them back into the format, which is a shame. Yeah. Next is the new. Arm Dragon support. Yes, Arm Dragon got some new support. This is from the 5D. This is not 5D, this is from GX. So they, they jazz it up and they change all the rules. Now. So basically, now the Arm Dragons go, Oh, quick play spell. Let me special Arm Dragon level 3 for my deck. Nice one. Next, Arm Dragon level 3. Discard one. Special summon level 5 for my deck. Discard another one. I'm on level 7. Let me scroll level, level 10. Nice one. So you get to level 10, 30. And plus all these cards have co have effects where they've been discarded. So level 3, draws one card. And if it's a level 5 one, you you search for one. Arm Dragon spells. Yeah. If it's a level um, it, monster cards for your decks you have. If it's level 7, it... It comes a can't remember, but it gains you a thousand attack. That's it. And then this one basically gets attack, gets effects when what's ever been discarded, which is good. And it's a quick effect, so you can do stuff on the opponent turn, which is good, which is cool. Um, Arm Dragon level ten, the new one, this one here, white, and basically can special summon itself if you advance up to the levels of ten. So let's say you do seven and three, that's two. Okay, very simple. You can just do time ownership. Yep, so it's easy to summon, so that's good, which is cool. Um, then we got Arm Dragon Battle. Basically, this card uh, fixes a lot of the issue with Arm Dragon. So it's a rotor with you, which is good, which is cool. You got this one here, Bridge Back Spells and Bridge Back Arm Dragon Monsters, which is good, which is cool. And then you got the track card. This one's alright. 
Um, the other deck is going to be good as an engine. I wouldn't say your main deck, you've got to play with other decks. If you play a Dragon Link engine, you could play it with these as Arm Dragon. You can play it with a Wind Witch engine because these are all wind, apart from that one, you see. And we also got an original monster. And oh, yeah, apart from the original spell, I forgot about that. But the original spell just special summons this, which is cool, which is good, which is good. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. Next we got Fables! Yeah, Fables are back. So Fables are 5D deck. So they're 5Ds. So basically what happens with them now is they get they get they got a new synchro, which the level six is very good. 24 attack, it discards one card and pops one card on the field, which is good, it's not a cost. So the Fable thing is they don't have to be a cost. So, I mean they don't have to be not a cost, so, so they can be a cost or not a cost to discard them, which is Good. It's better Dark World in some ways because then you don't have to always remember your cost, which is cool, which is good. Um, this one discards one card, you can special summon itself and stuff like that. This one special summons itself, you discard one card from your hand. The field spell basically sends um, send one to the deck to the grail, which is cool, which is good. Yep. And then we've got the trap, which you don't see play. I wouldn't play traps in, in, in Fables because. Because they are a synchro based deck and they've basically got to try and synchro up as quick as you can. The way you used to play this deck was to make two inquiries or dragons and stuff like that. It used to be the way. Um, Outleach have got a new fusion. So they've got um, this one here, the new fusion of the golden lit of, of the bin. So this one's very good because this one is just another big boss. It's very 100 attack, very 100 defense, and you can't swipe by carpet, which is good, which is cool. And then obviously you can trip it off to take opponent's monsters, which is nasty. Imagine just playing this in the mirror map. Oh, I'm just going to pull you. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep, that's what this card does. And then you'll just take it out monster, which is good, which is cool, which is good. Yep, and the continuous spell card is the fusion spell you need for this card to work. So basically what happens with this fusion spell is basically you can... Fusion Summon with the level 5 and stuff, and any zombie monster, which is good, which is cool. And then also, it's, it's, stop, stop, it's, the card's been set, can't be elevated, which is good, which means they have to force to activate if you're playing control deck, which is cool, which is good to me, which is, I think, good. And um, we've got Dual Terminal, the new supports. Haven't really seen much competitive assets, I think that I haven't really played this deck, it's not one of my favourites. I think the new spot's good, but it's not there for them. I think this deck is alright at the best of times. It's only got two main deck monsters. As I said, it needs more main deck monsters. Try Brigade, they get a new level 2, which is good. It just sends another it just sends another one to the grave, which is good, which is cool. Oh, which is good. And it can use it for the link one, but you never know, use the link effect. It's the same as always with them. It's just the send effect is very good. Spell card has not, the quick play spell has not seen any play, it's not that good I would say, has not seen any play, which is a shame. Yeah. Next is the one, one card support and truck and, and pack fillers, okay, so we've got the new machine support, which is pretty good, which is pretty cool, it just brings one month back to the grave, which is good. The new evil twin spot, this is just a nice extend at the end of the day, which is good, which is cool. And we've got the new uh, white old school serpent art type support, this card's really good, it fixes our issues, but one support's not always with the carry deck. Next we got the new Ajama card, this is a right the best of times, but it's not very good, okay. Uh, we've got this trap, this trap's bad numbers, so that's why it's not good. We've got the new weird, your weird trap. This card's pretty good, it just gives you another name to play with with your spell cards, which is good, which is cool. And we've got a very old card, so it's basically not much has changed with this, so it's with the Manakia spin. Um, this was from Blue Eyes, and you're both still equipped it and stuff like that, which is good. We have got the Costella support. This is supposed to help search the Costella spells. I thought they would give you a new spell support, but they don't, which is a shame, which is a shame for this card. And um, we've got the new Dragoonity support. Uh, Dragoonity e, um, is good. It, it, it 
it's not that good. I have not seen it in the X-Deck, which is uh, it's a bit of a shame, really. And we got the Digital Bug. Digital Bug, new card, is actually very good. It, I saw it when it got hype, but then it started down quite quickly, which is a shame. Yeah. Um, Silver Fin. Uh, this could be something to see deeper, which is interesting. And then you can manage the top three ponies, monster base, ponies, monster base down deck, which is pretty cool. Um, the thing is a little bit controversial. It's the ponies ha adds the hand effect, but because that's not been allowed to remote dual things, so that's fine. Um, we've got Dogman got a new trap card. This card's pretty good because it just sends that ever card from the extra deck and basically negates that effect, which is good. This card's alright. This one here is alright. And we've got a new Pendulum monster over here, which is pretty cool, which is pretty good. Yep. Um, then we've got the new Fairy Archer thing. This is for plants, which is okay. Plants are getting some more support at the end of the day, which is pretty good. Next, we have got the new chase cards uh, so we've got the new rank 9 if you can all climb get banned this is what virtual what we'll be playing next okay this basically is like for, like, uh, like that trap in last prophecy basically if you have uh, if you have a monster you negate a monster while if you've got spell attached you got negate spell if you've got traps you said traps what that's what this card does it's pretty good they can keep adding tails which is pretty cool which is pretty good yeah, rank the level the link five basically this one can special stuff this one can use opponents monsters as a tier which is really good right? and then it can't be targeted or stuff it does not target cannot get rid of so you can't even sort of strike it which is going to be really painful for some lower deck which is good which is cool um which is really good it's hard to summon but once you go on the field just bloody hell it's pretty good oh, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, it's pretty good for this which is cool um Pot of Distality. Um, this card's very good. It's like a Pot of Duality, but but better. It's like it with a Pot of Scrapping sort of thing. You can balance three or six from the X deck, which is good. Good. And then also you can look your top six cards or your top three basically, and you get to pick one. And you don't get the thing if you can't special summon. Now this one you can, which is really good and really powerful, which is cool, which is good. Yep. Yeah. And and that, but you can't uh, you can't take any you don't you can't draw or take any bow you can't and you can't take any you can't do any damage which is fine which is fine but this card's very good for decks you don't need to use the extra deck so much or so you can play cards with duplicates and stuff um, the field spells are ride along with your normal draw it's okay it's pretty good I think you might see play uh, we got this card here. With the Drytron as the main new art type is doing very well in the in the meta, I think this card might see play in the tr in in like a control deck eventually, which is good because it is like your egress tracks of machines. This is pretty good because it's just special summons itself, which is good, which is cool, and you can search it, which is cool. And um, this continuous sky card might be good for like outreach and stuff like that, which is good about this card, which is good, which is cool, I guess, which is good. Yeah, and this is the TCG and, uh, a, and the well put and the OCG input. We only got one this time. We only got the virtual young horn song. It's good, it's just a normal song in the end of the day, which is good, which is good. You don't need it always, but it's just a nice one off. We got synchro well, nice basically this puts stuff back your X deck and pony and summon synchro on the pony sound, which is good, which is cool. This is like a this is basically summon warrior from your hand when your opponent about to attack, which is good, which is cool. This is basically the original spell to summon this guy. This is basically like your negates your attack and then puts more cards back to your opponent's hand, which is good, which is cool. I think dry draw might use this and somehow because this this is original spell and remember they can just summon this anytime. Um Uncle Pentrum Uncle basically does Pentrum summon on on your opponent's turn, which is really nuts if you can pull it off. But you can't do any effects with it, which is a shame. And this near fusion is a possible to summon, okay? It's a possible to summon, okay? Because you need an X seed, a synchron, and an X seed, okay? How do you post to summon this card, okay? How do you post to summon this, okay? Still still within this is good this is based like a new comp but it destroys the card and then it burns which is cool which is good but take no link tails and basically this one here is a super poly it's a it's a polarization but you get carbon straw by color effects and just stamp which is cool 
these cards are good, these cards link, so you need a player no one wants for this engine to work, but I think this engine might be quite good eventually, which is good, which is cool. This is the red thing, which is pretty good because it adds teal back to your hand, which is good. Underdogs to be good eventually, you just have to find the right deck to go into it, which is good. Okay. And I think Psychic Willow will be good also, which is cool, which is good. Good, good. And then the last one is the new War Rock. War Rock. Up time. Now, basically, all warriors, as you can see, they're all level, uh, they're level four, fives, and sixes, and seven. Levels warriors, they're a bit over the place, so reason might be a good shout for this. And they're basically battle based deck. They basically like to go into battle, try and pick the monsters, and then and then then try and try and take try and do loads of damage. The problem is with this deck is you're gonna need a lot of cards to support this deck because the mountains, especially especially some them from the great from the deck for the hand, get these big guys. The big guys can need always to special they can normal summon themselves, which is a shame. They don't special summon themselves, which is a bit of a shame. This guy does not special summon himself, which he should do, which is a shame. And it's really hard to get these big guys on the field unless you destroy them by card effect, which is really annoying. And the spell card's pretty good because it gets some extra draw, which is a shame. But this this these two are the best cards. The rest monsters are not that good. I, the way I think you must play this deck is go in second and play like OTK stuff to make, fix the situation, which is a shame. Hey, 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 okay, I hope you enjoy, uh, uh, that's the last deck today, I hope you enjoy the new support we're getting in Blazing Vortex, it's coming the 4th of Feb, uh, Feb 2021, uh, I hope you enjoy today, subscribe and watch all, um, Twitch, um, share it on Facebook and Twitter, uh, on, on Instagram and Twitter, Yes, I'm on Twitter, and and hope you like it. There'll be some more stuff coming out next week. Oh, hey, I hope you enjoyed today, and I hope you subscribe and watch all, and see you all next time. And oh yeah, I'm playing in the in the virtual draw tournament this weekend. Okay, have a good have a good maybe my draw me this weekend. Okay, see you all. Bye bye.